We have, as I think I said in the first class, we don't certainly have Christina Ehim, author of Walker on Water, but what we do have is a wonderful proxy. We have Yvonne Martin, who is going to be reading from that collection of short stories. So ladies and gentlemen, Yvonne Martin, reading from Christina Ehim's book of short stories, Walker on Water. is called Dragon's Diary. I've already seen one thing and another, even a third and fourth in this world, but wherever I've searched, wherever I've crept, I haven't found sex. What sort of thing is this sex that everyone talks about and falls silent about? I don't understand. Now, I'm married to this giant here. Every evening, he puts his heavy arms around me. He cuddles me and caresses me, tenderly kisses my three mouths and three necks. I become more and more heated from this until I start spouting flames and then gradually cool down like lava that has flowed into a cold spring. Our bed is full of smoke and the cold hiss of cooling down and I feel the beating of his heart under my claws. Thump. 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 But what part of all this, the beginning, the end, the middle, all of it together is sex? That I don't know. This morning, <clears throat> I asked my husband, and he answered with a laugh, that sex is when I once lost my tail under our blanket and he helped me find it. <laughs> Depressing. How is that supposed to happen again? You can't consciously lose your tail under the blanket. That can only happen by chance. And what might also happen by chance is that it will never chance upon again. Best to forget it altogether. The word is already getting on my nerves. Sex. It sounds like a trap being sprung. Who invented this mysterious trap anyway? Clack. And all at once it captures your most beautiful moments. It's aggravating and intrusive. It's a third party when you want to be alone. Just the two <coughs> of you. I hope I manage to forget it. I said that to my husband's face and he started laughing again and said he'd been joking about losing one's tail is certainly not sex. But what is it then? I asked angrily. My husband thought about it and said, sex is closing your mouth nicely now, not thinking about anything and simply being beautiful. He was desperate again. Is sex something that you do for others? That seems boring and courteous. Something like a curtsy. I decided not to turn to my husband anymore in this matter. He only makes light of it when I'm being serious. Yeah, I sense that I will soon have to take him up on this subject again because lately he seems to be somehow annoyingly patronising. There isn't the clear, bright closeness of before between us anymore. Between us there is now that curtsy, the trap springing and clack. Nothing is as it was before.